All right, it's <clears throat> June 21st, kind of longest day of the year. I thought I'd capture the sun conditions on the solar panels. It's about 6 a.m. Sun came up about 527. It's going to go down at 9 p.m. tonight. <clears throat> so almost 18 hours of uh, sun on our longest day. You can see my solar tracker is not in the sun yet, but there is sun hitting the trees across the street. Let's check out where the sun is at in the sky. <clears throat> well, the house faces about 205 degrees, which is a little bit west of south. <clears throat> and you can see our big tree here. Some sunlight hitting it. In the top. And I actually can't see the sun, but it's actually right over the, the peak of that house. So it'll come up over here. Once it clears that, it'll start to hit the solar tracker, which is sitting there waiting for it. And you actually can see some of the sunlight coming down on the top of that tree. But the problem is, it takes a while for it to get high enough in the sky so that it can actually project sunlight on these panels. And it's actually mid-morning before I actually start to get some production, even when the sun comes up early here. It 5:30. So that shows uh, a pretty big advantage of having a solar tracker. If you have batteries and you need them to get recharged early in the morning, uh, if they've been running all night, running uh, things in the house. So I see that's a big advantage of having a, a tracker. And, and in my particular design, uh, it's very simple. It just uses a rotator and a timer circuit to. Uh, time it to where the sun should be in the sky and it's pretty much been running non-stop since I uh, installed this last fall not a single problem uh, I probably have oh maybe a uh, hundred and fifty dollars between the pole the rotator and the circuitry to run it all so not too bad hopefully we'll get the sun over that this morning and uh, have a good day of sun production. All right, so here's what I mean. We've got uh, I got my trimetric setting on uh, the percent of battery storage in the morning here. <clears throat> it's sitting at 55% uh, charge. So clearly, I need to have the sun come up, hit these batteries, charge back up again. It was just checking the water here. Water level looks pretty good. And uh, get us through the day. This uh, My particular setup here, I've got the batteries are running through the inverter here, runs the uh, house refrigerator, and then all the rest of the uh, grid tie inverters, which I only really have. Uh, look at my switches here. I've got these two, my solar tracker, my 80 watt panel running the uh, batteries charging and then the other four uh, run the grid tie inverters <clears throat> to offset the house usage which is generally under 200 watts but between the two we can get our uh, our total usage down and keep our bill low so anyway just wanted to capture that <clears throat> being the longest day of the year. All right, it's the end of the day here. See the sun is still up, tracker's still tracking. Had a pretty partly cloudy day today. Let's go see how the batteries did. All right, we're still putting six and a half amps in the battery, mainly from the solar tracker. And uh, up to a full charge. So we're back to where we want to be. Catch you later.